Alright, so the Rotary Club uh, in Port of Spain West is having a fun rally fundraiser and Rambongshan has the interview to find out more information with Mr. Mark De Freitas. Remy? Yes, indeed. So yes, I'm here with Mr. Mark De Freitas. Uh, you know, of course, we're talking about the Let's Rally for a Cause. You know, but before we do that, let's chat a little bit about what the Rotary Club um, initiatives are overall and a little brief history about the Rotary Club Port of Spain West. Thank you, Remy, for having us this morning. Mm -hmm. um, the Rotary Club of Port of Spain West is a member of Rotary International, mm -hmm. which is a global network of 1.2 million neighbors, community leaders, mm -hmm. professionals. Yes. Um, we essentially are promoting service, providing service, to humanitarian service right. to those in need. Right. Okay. Um, the tenets of Rotary are providing service, integri promoting integrity, um, promoting integrity as well as advancing understanding, peace, goodwill through the fellowship of business professional leaders and um, other organizations. Okay, great. And uh, you all have been in um, existence for, what is 44 years? Our club has, yes, established in 1976, and we have been in existence, well, I guess this year we'll bring it to 45, 45, right. 45 years. And so, of course, you all have been doing initiatives through the years for, with a range of different um, topics. Projects and, and projects. different topics, yes. Right? Um, our club has been promoting activities like uh, the co project, which was caregivers. Um, outreach program for education which was linked to um, caregivers and parents for with kids with autism mm -hmm. and they did the development phases right. of course bringing in the medical fraternity we've had uh, alta adult literacy teacher association we've provided materials for that right um, some of our members um, founders of like the palliative care society of Trinidad Tobago we have Rainbow Rescue, we have Love Until Foundation, okay. all are members of our club. Okay, and, and I know we're heavily involved in those um, projects as and well. programs as well. And I know for this year, you all are doing the... St. Dominic's Children's Home, which right. is one of the... Um, the St. Dominic's Children's Home, we've had a relationship with them uh, over the years. We've done tree planting projects and we've done an uh, installation of a, 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 a play park. Right. All right. Um, and in, uh, I think it was 2019, they had approached us to tell us that they were doing service upgrades mm -hmm. to their assessment and behavioral unit um, at the Veritas Center on the St. St. Dominic's compound. Okay. And um, at the time um, we had heard about it, we had agreed to donate funds to it and then of course COVID happened which right. really severely impacted any sort of fundraising activities which we're dependent on. But we did donate right. um, uh, a portion of it and um, since then um, you know it's always been in the back of my mind how far have they been able to progress okay. and I did reach out to Sister Arlene Greenridge who is the program uh, director at the Veritas Center okay. to find out how they were progressing. And interestingly, they said they did, they were able to buy assessment kits. Okay. And um, these assessment kits are used in the evaluations of the, the children at the St. Dominic's home. Okay. They have a multidisciplinary team yeah. um, that come up with individual care plans with, um, for each child okay. to help them um, overcome their challenges. Right and their special needs and I was I asked you know how is that going and she did say you know the ultimate goal for the St. Dominic's home is to restore their children to their family unit right definitely all right home is the, the motto is home is where you're truly safe and I was seeing somewhere in the notes where you, um, you had increased your um, efficacy from like 40 right so seven. what she had said between the, the period 2015 to um, 2015 to 2019, mm -hmm. they had restored 40% of the residents at home to their Back to, to the, the families. families. Yeah. But then, subsequent to the assessments and the, the streamlining of their their programming, mm -hmm. um, that increased to 70%. Right. So that's a huge, a huge increase of 30%. Uh, right. You know, that was like wow. You know, yeah. you're, this is you're really making an impact. 
So she says, and subsequent to that now, they're realizing they, are, they need to have a, um, a digital solution because the, the result, the, the outcome right now is that because, and it's exasperated now with COVID, of course. where everybody is separated. Yeah. As you mentioned, the digital aspect of it, you, I saw I met something about a 360 approach. Give me a little more insight into that. Right. So this the idea here is that they need, they're constrained and limited by the technology that they have available to them right mm -hmm. now. And apparently what they're looking for is a software and, and have been successful in, in finding something that will allow the stakeholders that create those individual care plans for each child mm -hmm. um, to tweak them. So if, if you know, the, it's a multidisciplinary team of clinical psychologists, uh, social way of uh, worker, social welfare workers yeah. and for each area that they are contributing to this child's care if there is something that they need um, to inform or to help this child if they encounter another challenge the it is important that the network of communications they have a 360 overview right. which at this point because technology they're constrained by technology they don't have those okay. so the reporting could be slower you know there are lags in the communication the turnaround time so having this digital solution will help faster reporting and of course tweak the, the, the child's program okay. in such a way that they can move forward and as, as we talk about that of course this this, this year is virtual again in essence Yes. Right. So uh, let's let's go to the rally now, as as it pertains to the whole thing. Tell me a little bit about the um, treasure hunt, the car rally for this. So yeah. we've organized this uh, car rally, which we've done before, mm. and it's it's an this idea. Second year, correct? This is the second year that we're doing it. Um, in a virtual form or in general? Well, no, no. This it's not a, a virtual rally, but it's right. a oh, yes, it's, right. it's a car rally. But safe, yeah. It's Social safe distance, because yeah. you're basically your own team, your own party in your own car. So mm. you could have your family unit. Um, mm. You know, it's a fun event. Right. Um, it's it's going to be carried out at um, on the fifth of December right. at the Brentwood um, Mall in Chaguanas. In Chaguanas. Mm -hmm. um, starting time is seven. We want all the participants and entrants to come in. Of course, the um, Rally Association of Trinidad and Tobago, they uh, helped us organize it and they have to do their safety checks with regards to making sure your car is roadworthy. Right. Um, it's, a tr it's going to be in the form of a treasure hunt right. and at the beginning you're issued your map, mm -hmm. um, you're issued clues to find your treasures. And, and how much to register? It's $500 per car. Mm -hmm. Its registration is easy. Just mm -hmm. refer to our um, Rotary Club of Port of Spain West Facebook page okay. and the forms are there. And it's just to put in information. You can um, transfer the money to the account mm -hmm. and just show up on the day on 5th of December. Lovely. All right. So yeah, thanks so. for chatting with us. So that's Let's Rally for a Cause, the Treasure Hunt and Car Rally 2021 Rotary Club Port of Spain West at the um, Brentwood Mall, Shagwanas, and um, go out and support it. We he cause youth at risk? Yeah? We'll be back in a bit. True to you? What are we saying? Yeah, well, I mean, I look forward to the rallies happening, mm -hmm. and I think it's going to be a fantastic event that families can get out of the house but stay safe and yeah. be together. Exactly. Of course, all protocols yeah. for COVID will be observed. You know, you wear a mask yeah. in, your, in your vehicle, but mm -hmm. it's a, a funny event. Four people to car? Uh, yes, maximum four people, minimum two. Minimum two. Okay, great. Nice. So, All right. Well, we, we take a quick break. And we'll thank you, friends. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We take a quick break and come back with more inside in our morning. So stay tuned.